America used to be a place where buildings lasted for generations, kept communities safe, and resisted the elements. Before 2000, apartments, student dorms, and long-term care facilities were built with concrete and steel for safety, just like office buildings, schools, and hospitals. But the home builders and wood industry saw an opportunity to throw up buildings faster with combustible construction materials. They lobbied for wood framing and multifamily structures to benefit their industries. They asked for trade-offs like weaker firewall protection, taller wood structures, and substituting weaker sprinkler requirements, which would allow them to cut corners at every turn and make more money. As a result, they neglect protection against deadly fires and completely ignore the dangers of building with combustible materials. They convinced building code officials and legislators to change the building codes to allow the use of combustible wood framing for some of our most vulnerable population, young families, students, and the elderly. And America is paying the price. Thanks to lax code changes, fires are rampant. Today, larger and taller stick-built multifamily buildings now have weaker sprinkler systems. All over the country, fires are leaving a path of destruction, displacing communities, costing millions, and putting countless lives at risk. These so-called code safety trade-offs are costing money and lives. Research commissioned by the National Association of State Fire Marshals concludes that buildings are 23% less safe as a result of the weakened building codes. If we want to save lives and protect our communities, we must upgrade our building requirements with safer building codes that include non-combustible materials like concrete and steel. Learn more at buildwithstrength.com.